and welcome to another video of mine showing my layout process. Um, you'll see here this video shows a number of different photos and how I am going to use them. Um, I've started with some plain grey cardstock and I am just kind of was working out roughly how I wanted these photos to work. Um, you can see I've got this cool tabbed um, card from Ellie's studio. And you can see here some photos of my husband taking photos <laughs> by the sea. So um, it's the kind of thing he likes to do. And I'm just checking out my watercolours. Those ones came in a Studio Calico card kit. But I've decided to use these peerless ones um, because I've got, they've got such a wide variation of colour, which I really, really like. Um, and basically, I just want to kind of create a watercolour, almost like a line above where the photos are going to go, just kind of so it bleeds into the photos in a way to just really recreate those gorgeous bluey greens in the in the photos and and kind of just see how how that works so i'm just showing you here all the different colors i picked out and decided to use and i'm going to show you how i created that watercolor effect so i've just got a watercolor brush and a big um, pot of water um, and i've got a big pot of water so that i can really get it very very wet i want to get these this this very wet um, and get the colour pigment you can see here. Um, now I did find out as I was going that this paper actually really sucked up the water um, really really quick so it was actually quite difficult for me to blend um, because it just dried so quickly uh, which I'm, I'm not so much used to. I don't know whether it was the colour because um, I've used it on the white American Crafts and, and not had quite such an issue with it. I mean it does dry pretty quick but not as quick as this. I mean you can see there that although it's not dry the colours just aren't blending anymore. Um, so I've just kind of put a bit more in. I'm just actually going to dry this one section. I actually originally had wanted to create a real pool of colour and kind of have it drip down um, but instead I decided to work across as it was drying so quickly I hadn't kind of had to work with it. Um, but I really wanted to show you every aspect of this part of the layout to really show how I use the watercolours. I think when I was first, although I've used watercolours for years, I haven't used them on layouts for very long. And when I was first learning how to use them on layouts, this was the kind of thing I really wanted to see. Um, and I didn't really see it very many places. So I, that was kind of something I really wanted to show was exactly the effect you get, exactly how I did it step by step, really. Um, so you can see I'm just getting a lot of different colours. But you can see that blue bit in the middle there is already dried um, and isn't blending. Um, no matter how much water I kind of get on there. So this cardstock is sucking it up. And you can see how it is. Um, I was just checking the back there to make sure it wasn't kind of really uh, soaking through too much. So I'm just getting some more more of the blues. So I'm really picking out these gorgeous colours from the photos but also I've, I've used the products I've used a majority either from um, some bits from Ellie's studio from the Cameron collection and from August's Project Life kit but also from Studio Calico's August kit, the Marks & Co which is absolutely my new favourite kit. I absolutely adore it, the colours in it are wonderful and really work well with this. But you can see here I'm just getting a lot of water on my brush, dabbing it in the colour um, and then going back sometimes for more water um, to just create this kind of speckled ink spatter effect. And I really really love the colours here. So you can do this um, without then, because sometimes people buy a lot of different mists to create this effect, you can do it quite cheaply then with just a pack of watercolours um, and create that effect, which is really, really nice. You can see here, just blending all the different colours in, getting a couple of the different colours there. Right, so I'm just going to reposition that card and the photos on again. I just want to play around with with the actual position of that before I start getting some of the embellishments together. The majority of the embellishments I use are paper embellishments, so um, bits and pieces from Ellie Studio and, and things like that, like little tags and stuff like that, um, to try and keep it quite flat this time because of all the kind of, with the watercolours, I didn't want to kind of mix too much of a, uh, too much other texture with it. So you can see here I'm just playing around with exactly where to position everything. Um, and see how that works. I'm really undecided with exactly how I want it. I don't want it in a straight line. I do want it off off center slightly like this. 
Um, so in the end I decide that this, this kind of a thing works, so I start placing some of my embellishments down. Uh, these arrows were cut uh, using my Cameo, they're arrows you can get in the Silhouette store I believe, using the uh, the, the blue and the um, yellow cardstock. I really love yellow with the blue and the greys and the greens, I think they're a really nice pop. You can see there that was the Ellie Studio tags that I'm going to use, I've just cut them apart. Uh, to pop them in. I think they really work really well together. I wanted to get some of this Cameron collection, although I don't, we don't have kids yet. Um, I struggle sometimes to do boyish layouts because I really like all the girly stuff. <laughs> so I wanted to just get a few of these little bits and pieces so that I could do some layouts still in my style but with a bit of masculinity added. You can see here I just added a load more dots. I did use a lot of mist here. I used some of the Heidi Swab, um, Heidi Swab, um, the gold um, and then some Mr. Huey white and a couple of, I think the grey is uh, one of the greys as well. Just to, because the watercolour dots I'd used, sorry, ink splatters I'd used, hadn't come down low enough that I wanted. And I also wanted to get some more yellow and gold in, really. Um, once I'd decided I was I was going to put yellow in there. I really love this colour combination. Um, the kind of the grey, the bluey, greeny colours and the yellow. I just think they look stunning together. So I'm just playing around again with, with the position of everything, just putting back what I'd already decided, um, and then I'm going to add in some new bits and pieces. Um, but first of all, I'm going to start gluing down, um, which is kind of decided that this is what I want it to look like. So this is the part that I, I, I get gluing down. I always do like to do something with my background. Um, it's kind of, that's always kind of what I start with. I start with, well, I guess I start with the photos and the colours and kind of get the basic layout and then create something with my background paper and then stick it all together. <laughs> That's kind of, I guess, my, my general process. I do like to, I don't tend to use just a blank piece of cardstock or a blank piece of pattern paper. I'll always do something with it, even if it's kind of just break it up with a different pattern paper. But I do like to use some mixed media techniques, paint, ink and stuff like that. So you can see here, my tiny attach is actually broken. Um, the tops come off, so I kind of have to keep pulling it out and up again to get it to work. I'm, I'm not quite sure what happened but it snapped off and it's just made it a little bit broken there. So you can see I'm just jiggling with the space in there to get that to work. So this is with it all glued down there, all those bits um, that I've decided just re-gluing that little bit there that come off. Just sticking these few bits down. I thought everything was down. Keep those two down. I really like using the three arrows. I did toy with whether I used four, but definitely stuck with the three. And I just added my journaling there. And I'm just playing around with something to fill in that gap, which I really don't like. Um, I think when I'd previously laid it all flat, I somehow didn't have that gap, and, and now I do. Um, so I'm just playing around with exactly what to put in that space. So you can see me grabbing a load of bits. These little um, kind of flags and tabs and things came in the Studio Calico kit and I believe um, one or two of the add-ons as well. They're printables um, from a number of different places and I really like them. Um, I kind of hope we, we get them again. Um, it makes me realise I should probably buy printables a little bit more regularly but I hate the amount of ink it uses on my printer. Um, I like kind of getting them like that and being able to cut them up and add lots of different layers. And you can see here this Ellie Studio getting that dark blue in is just perfect. Um, it just works really really well and I really like that. So I'm just making sure that everything's really well stuck down which is very important when you've had some wet material on your um, on your surface there to make sure it's all very well stuck down because it could very easily pop back off again. Um, so I'm just adding a little bit of, of um, some embellishments with a bit of kind of height to them, um, a few little bits and pieces. Um, and I really love this um, these word stickers that came in the kit. So I want to find a way to get as many of these in and the colour just blends in so well with everything. Um, I think the colour of Marks & Co kit was one of their best kind of put together, um, although I love all the colours as well. The fact that how well they all went together um, was for me um, a real, real, real plus. I really liked it. So you can see here I'm just putting together some of these, um, the little enamel dots with these asterisks, kind of to create a little a little cluster, which I'm then going to repeat up by the um, other arrow up there. Yeah, there we go. That's where it's going. Um, 
to kind of get a little bit of repetition in there. I think it's good to get some repetition. I've already got it with those arrows and obviously the colours and things, but it's nice to, to kind of have a bit more of it in there. So um, got that like that. There we go. I'm just toying around with anything else I might want to add. You can see I love these uh, cork heart embellishments that came with the Studio Calico kit, but as you can see it doesn't really work anywhere. So I'm just playing around to have a look and see if any more of the flags and the tabs would work anywhere. Um, there's still a few areas I'm not 100% happy with, so I'm just kind of playing around to see if there's anywhere else I can fit a few more bits and pieces in, as you can see here. Um, I've just got these letter stickers out again. Um, I said uh, how much I loved them, or word phrases, sorry. Um, so going to add some more in up here. Um, special event and um, a few more bits and pieces. Here we go. So, yeah, all about you, this one says which works really well. Again, I think the colours just all work so well. And this uh, arrow keeps coming off, so just re-sticking that down. Um, so there's just one area that I'm not 100% happy with, which is that one there I just pointed out. So I'm just looking to see if there's anything else I can add in. Um, originally I was going to add some of those frames, again from Ellie Studio, but I decided not to. Um, and just basically playing around here to see if there's anything else I can I can get in that might work. So these are all my cuts and embellishments from um, the kits. Um, I do keep coming back to the enamel dots um, and these. I'm just seeing if anything will fit in there. Uh, in the end, I find a really nice tab that works really well. Um, here we go. There it is. Love this. Perfect sits in there beautifully, covers up that little gap that I don't like and looks wonderful and this um, here is now the end of my layout, everything is all done so I'm just going to show you close up here, um, so I'm not adding a separate title, I'm calling it True Happiness as it says this is True Happiness, um, so here you can see my finished layout and we're going to have some close ups, so thank you so much for joining me again and I hope you learned something and liked my video, cheers!